Hey everybody, it's Patty Dobrovolsky with Up Your Creative Genius and the Creative Genius You, the equation that makes you great. This is week three of our week on desire. Now desire is just the most amazing force field that you create around yourself every time you imagine the goal or vision of what it is that you want to accomplish in your life. It does this strange thing. It actually creates a force field that you can tap into every time you feel like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing or where am I going? When I was an actor or wanted to be an actor, you know, it took hours and hours of rehearsal and rewrites of material to put it up on stage. And at first I tried to audition for other people's material, which went really badly for me. I mean, they just never really wanted to hire me. And so I realized, well, I'm just going to write my own stuff and do that, which was awesome because it allows me to access all of my creativity, put it out there and just have so much fun. Of course, you know, it was just as scary as getting into a room full of people and auditioning, but I didn't realize that at the time. Now, at one point uh, later, after I became a strategic illustrator, I was illustrating a conversation um, with the actors from Grimm, which was a show that was shot in Portland for a while. And in that show, they talked about, these actors talked about how lonely really an actor's job is so much time you are spending working to develop your character. But that loneliness is what actually is the process of you reforming and reformatting your brain to bring everything you have into that environment. Now, I loved listening to them and it reminded me of how tough it was to be an actor and all of the gyrations that I had gone through. So later, much later, I'm an illustrator and I want to become a keynote speaker. And I just am not quite sure how I'm gonna get myself from wanting to be a keynote speaker to being one. And so I draw these pictures of myself there and I envision it and I still am not seeing some things happen and I can't figure out why. And then I realize, gosh, if nobody knows who I am or what I'm going to talk about, they're never going to hire me to be a speaker. So I began to do things for free and I would just find everything I could to go and be a speaker for. And in that, I began to modify and uh, arrange, rearrange the process that I was doing at the front of the room. So it became this delicate balance between me and the audience, just like it had been when I was an actor. Well, one of my first gigs had happened in a southern part of Oregon at a place called the Monarch Hotel. I'd actually been hired by a, a group of chiropractors who wanted me to be a speaker, an inspirational speaker. And I think it was one of my first paid gigs in Oregon. And I was so dang excited about it. You know, I drove down there from Seattle with my wife, Julie, who came to take photos. And I get there and I set up, you know, my drawing board because I'm going to do, you know, some form of snapshot of the big picture or draw your future. But I knew I was drawing there. And after I was done, literally the chiropractors rushed the stage, which was really not a stage at all. It was like these a piece of foam core set on some flip chart stands and me at the front. And I was just blown away. I thought it was a validation from the universe that I was on the right track, that this was going to start to happen for me. And I was so thrilled. Well, recently, Julie and I were driving through Oregon and we went past that hotel where I'd given my first talk. And interestingly enough, when we were driving through there, it was at a time when we were wondering why were we living in the Northwest? We couldn't figure it out. And so that, experience of reliving it and replaying all of the things that happened in that day rebooted our serotonin all over again. It was as if we had embarked on that experience and opened a window into that day which sent ripples out into our force field. And in that force field rippling, 
our serotonin got raised, our dopamine got raised, and we were ready to do it. We knew we were in the right place at the right time. Now things like that happen all the time with your desire. You know, desire is, is about love and attraction of something that you want to see or experience. And every time you replay what it is that you want to see yourself doing with whomever is going to be there with you, you send those ripples. And those ripples are embedded with all of the elements that really fuel you to get to that star that you want to accomplish. And so this week, your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to draw a picture of you in your rocket ship. That's you, or that's me, but that'll be you. And you're shooting off to your star. And next to it, I want you to put a big tank of fuel. And in that fuel, I want you to put the things that really fuel you to get there, that make you feel like you know this is the right thing, that this is going to align you with your purpose, or it's going to get your message out there. Whatever it is for you, I want you to put it in that picture. Then I want you to snap a picture of that and send it to me. So I can post it on my website or post it in the Facebook feed or LinkedIn somewhere. Send me what you drew because I want to see what you're up to. And if you're up to anything like what I was, meaning that you want to get yourself in front of an audience to share your message, then I invite you to join me for my free class this Saturday. I'm doing Flip Your Fear to Claim the Virtual Stage. And in that workshop, one hour workshop at 11 a.m. Central Time, I'm gonna show you some of the things, the tips that helped me to land a TED Talk, that got me to work my material and rehearse it, that got me networking with other people who were able to enable my success so that you can have that success too. I can't wait to see you there, it's free. So come join me, it'll be super fun. You know I'm gonna draw pictures and I'm gonna tell some stories and I can't wait to see you there so we can set you up for success. Because whether you're just showing up during this pandemic with a Zoom room or Teams camera, something in front of you trying to communicate what it is that you need to the people you support or just to your audience, I wanna help you be better at that because we all want to do our best, don't we? So this week, draw your picture, get your rocket fuel. Let's do this. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And I'll see you this Saturday. Sign up at creativegeniusu.com. Creativegeniusu.com, I can't wait to see you there. Until next time, up your creative genius.